Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. John White, WebMD's Chief Medical Officer and host of the Spotlight On series from WebMD's Health Discovered podcast. For this special two-part episode, you'll hear up-close and personal journeys about being diagnosed with a rare type of cancer, multiple myeloma. He looked at me. I have been his patient for more than 20 years. And he said, this is really strange. You're an African-American, age 57. I've never seen this before. This back pain that you're continually having with no signs of osteoporosis. No signs, exactly. And I didn't have any signs of osteoporosis in my family history. Listen to Health Discovered on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hello, and welcome to the Proactive Caregiving Podcast. As a CPA with over 20 years as an industry accountant, Jessica stepped away from the corporate world to become a full-time caregiver for her mother. Having learned invaluable lessons along the way, she is now here to share those with you and to invite you to join her on this caregiver's journey. Here is your host, Jessica Cannon. So how much water... Do you drink every day? How much water do you get your loved one to drink every day? Are you the one that says, I don't like water. Water's gross. It's too bland. I don't like drinking water. Or does your loved one say that? Do you stress about how much water they're drinking? Because let me tell you, I came across an article the other day. James McIntosh. It's published in the medical news today. And he's talking about how most of us don't consume enough fluids each day. And I know some of us will sit there and say, sure I do. I drink coffee. I drink soda. I drink juice. I drink even the fancy smancy cleanse juices that are out there now. But he's referring to this good old fashioned water. Water that helps us with weight loss. Water that helps us avoid tooth decay. And water, more importantly, that helps us with our cognitive functions, our circulatory boosting abilities. So this is something that it stresses me out as a caregiver because I cannot get my mother to drink enough fluids. Some doctors will tell you that's okay. You don't want them to drink too much fluids because they collect the fluids on their heart, so on and so forth. But then when I'm watching her throughout the day, and I'm wondering how much fluid she's had for the day. I'm noticing she's not using the restroom as often as she should. And when she does go to the restroom, yes, I'm the one that's standing outside the restroom door listening to see how much of a flow there is. Because let me tell you this, if your loved one is not consuming enough water, they're not flushing their system. Urinary tract infections are the second most type of infection in the body. And these UTIs are deadly to our loved ones with dementia. If that UTI spreads and it gets into the kidneys, permanent damage can happen leading to septicemia, which is a blood poisoning. These UTIs, these little culprits, cause sudden confusion or delirium in older people living with dementia. This is hard because as we're already trying to live and learn and adapt into their world and understand what they're experiencing, especially when they get to the point that they can no longer communicate as clearly what they're feeling, what's bothering them. You know, I would oftentimes figure out mom is having a bad day when she's grumpy She's more tired than usual. And a lot of times it's coming from that place of constipation, not just the lack of urine. So if you see your loved one experiencing this confusion, this agitation, more withdrawal than normal, stop and think, how much water have they had today? When was the last time they had a 
BM. You don't have to be in the restroom and hold their hand to know this. Especially for those of you, and my heart goes out to you, if you're the one that's at home trying to help clean them up after in the restroom. So if they can't communicate to you how they feel, you have to be that advocate. You have to be the one that says, here's some water. Here's um, some fruit. Here's something that will help. And sometimes I got to the point where I would give salted mixed nuts because the salt in the mixed nuts would make her thirsty enough to want to drink the water and flush through her system to help her. But the thing that about this article that I was going over from James McIntosh that stood out to me was he gives 15 points. So every time you hear that person tell you, I don't like water, it's like to me they're saying, I like to age. I don't like water. Oh, so you like to be constipated? I don't like water. Oh, so you like to have wrinkles? I don't like water. Oh, so you would rather have headaches? I don't like water. It's still bland. Oh, so you would rather be constipated and have all these issues when it's so simple to just drink water. So listen to this. 15 points here. Let's see if we can go through them real quick. Water in itself. It lubricates our joints. When you wake up in the morning and you're stiff and your back is hurting, it's not just that workout that you had the day before, provided you did work out. Water is that natural lubrication for our joints. This is something that my back doctor told me right away. Maintain your weight and drink plenty of water. You're going to feel it. And let me tell you, when I don't drink enough water, I feel it in my back before I feel it anywhere else. Water helps us form the saliva and mucus, mucus. That's the part that helps us digest. And it keeps our mouth and our nose and our eyes moist. And if you live in places like I do here in Texas, where allergens are just off the chart, more so lately when we get a lot of rain, Thank you, Lord, for the rain. But when we get a lot of rain, that means we are going to have a hellacious allergen season. That water is going to help you. It's going to help keep your mucous membranes. And I know that sounds gross, but it keeps them clean and healthier. Water helps our blood carry oxygen effortlessly through our body and all of our parts that desperately need it. This is what helps us function. You're sitting there during the day and you're like, I'm so tired. Well, did you not rest well last night? Or, yeah, I rested. But if you're sitting there drinking and you're on your third or fourth cup of coffee or on your second soda, why don't you just put that down and grab a cup of water and drink some water and get that into your body and help it move? Because you're not drinking enough water. Your blood is literally turning into like molasses. And you're tired and you're fatigued because your heart is having to work way harder than normal to push that thick blood through your body. This is not something that just diabetics deal with. This is all of us. And like I said earlier, water can help with anti-aging. If you don't like wrinkles on your face and you want healthy, bright, beautiful, blowing, glowing skin, drink some water. You want to avoid that premature aging? and other skin disorders, drink your water. Water in itself not only helps with my lower back, but water will help cushion our brain, the spinal cord, and other sensitive tissues in our body. This dehydration, it affects our brain and this, the functioning. It helps the production of our hormones and neurotransmitters. And I know a lot of it, you're like, what? Come on. But when you get to that point of the day and you haven't had enough water and suddenly you have a headache, how well are you functioning with that headache? Water helps us to regulate our body temperatures. In this dead heat of the summer when you're out there, you're working out, you're running, your body should be sweating. You should have, sometimes in this Texas heat, you all you have to do is walk outside and you're sweating. But if you're out there and you're walking, speed walking, running, and your body's sweating, it's cooling you down. If you're not replenishing that water as it's cooling you down, what are you going to do? You're going to be out in this heat and face that heat stroke possibility. 
or what we call sun fever. Water is also going to help us with our bowel movements. Yes, constipation and that overly acidic stomach or ulcers, that is something that you're going to see obvious irritability in your loved one. You're going to experience that yourself. So why wait until you're overly impacted and you're constipated and uncomfortable and you get to that point where you're agitated enough to where you're not really as calm and peaceful and loving and gentle with your loved one because you're uncomfortable. Drink a glass of water. And on that note, that water that you're finally drinking to help with that, it's going to flush. It's not only going to lighten up that constipation, but it's going to help you flush the waste from your body. If you had that good night rest and your body has had that chance to cleanse your kidneys and your liver, that waste has to go somewhere and it's got to come out of you eventually. I know, gross. Drink a glass of water. Water is also going to help us maintain our blood pressure. That lack of water, like I said, it thickens the blood and it makes it hard. You're tired. You're tired. It's, you're overworking your heart. But that overworking is raising your blood pressure. Not helpful. Drink that glass of water. When we are eating healthy, that water helps with the digestion to the point where it breaks everything down and it helps to carry the minerals and the nutrients within that food into the rest of our body and it helps it carry those small little molecules into all of our parts that need it the most. So drink your water. One of the things that I'm concerned about with mom is as she ages and she has less mobile abilities, so she's also less inclined to exercise, there's an increase of medication that has to help balance out the differences for her that she won't do on her own or she's incapable of doing on her own. So all that medication, although it may be helpful, and we can have a yet another conversation some other day on big pharma, the drawback right now of all that medication is it is a strain on our kidneys. And when we're drinking too much sodas and coffee and juices, then we're faced with kidney stones. I've heard kidney stones referred to as childbirth, and I'm sorry, I haven't had a kidney stone. I've had two kids. One of them was without an epidural. So I can tell you, if kidney stones feel that bad, you don't, trust me, you don't want to feel those kind of labor pains. Especially when all you could do is just drink your water and avoid that altogether. Help your loved one flush the effects of their medication in their kidneys and their liver just by drinking more water. That drinking of the water also helps us boost our performance, our workouts. If you're out there working out and you are sweating, but you're gradually waning, you're tired, you're not even through your whole workout, take a pause, drink that water, replenish, keep going. And if you're going to drink this water, when you're done with your workout and you finally get cleaned up and you're back to eat and replenish with a meal, as you drink that water throughout your workout, it's going to keep you from being dehydrated. It's going to keep you calm and cool, but it's also going to fill your belly. And not just after a workout, but throughout the week, it's going to fill your belly to the point that it prevents you from overeating. So if you drink that water throughout the day and you have this steady flow of fluids throughout the day, you're going to be less likely to overeat because you already have a sense of fullness before you even sit down to that meal. And of course, there are those times you've made it through the, the week. If it's been a good week, great, let's celebrate. If it's been a bad week, oh, not so great. I need that drink. Either way. If you're going to have that eventually, and I am I do, I have that glass of wine in the evening occasionally to relax and calm down and just chill. I have that glass of wine, but I also have the glass of water with it. It's not only going to prevent you from having too much alcohol, because like I just said, the water will fill your belly, but as you're drinking the wine, 
I like to drink the water and I swish because it helps with tooth decay. That red wine's not going to stain my teeth as much as I'm swishing with the water and drinking the water and the wine back and forth in between. So if you still think water is gross or water doesn't taste good enough or I hear what you're telling me, but my loved one still won't drink enough water. What am I supposed to do? So let's look at this. So water with lemon is definitely something that you can naturally flavor the water with. And I know in the summer, this is definitely not the time to have hot lemon water. But in the fall, and even sometimes first thing in the morning before, and for me, it, it is first thing in the morning because it it boosts my immune system right away and it helps my digestive system before I even get into my yoga routine or into my meditation. The first thing I do is I take my supplements with my water. And of course, my water has my vital proteins. But water with lemon, that's something that I used to do or started doing when we went out to the restaurant. You'd always see people order a glass of water or get their glass of water and ask them to have the lemon on the side. A lot of times I did that because water in the restaurant just is nasty. It's faucet water and you can taste the difference. But if you put lemon in it, it's not as bad. Come to find out years later that water with lemon actually is a value added benefit for me because that lemon has vitamin C. Lemon improves the quality of the skin. Lemon also helps us with digestion. Lemon helps us to detox our body and freshen our breath at the same time. And that lemon in your water, something so simple, is even going to help us prevent kidney stones. So if you get a chance and you want to have that hot water in the morning with lemon, great. It doesn't have to be a ton. If you have your eight ounce, your cup of water, just like a cup of coffee, but your hot lemon water, just know that by doing that, you're boosting your immune system. You're adding vitamin C. You're adding your B-complex vitamins. You're adding calcium. You're adding iron. You're adding magnesium, potassium, and fiber just in that one little cup. And the cool thing about vitamin C in lemons is that it helps to alleviate the stress. It helps to alleviate the stress in your body, the physical stress, not just the emotional stress, but the physical stress that happens in your body. And that's the part that helps you fight these viral infections and sore throats even. And the potassium is extremely important because that potassium is heart health. It is not only helping your heart, but it's helping your brain and your nerve functions. That lemon, that simple little lemon, is helping to reduce inflammation and it cleanses the system. And for me, big issue helps to keep my skin blemish free. I don't like being the grown adult that feels like the teenager with acne prone skin. But when I switched over to this, guess what? My skin cleared up. Imagine that flushing my system and flushing even my pores you know, like internally, not just washing my face, but it's internal and external. Try the water with lemon, hot water with lemon. If that doesn't work for your loved one, you yourself still continue to do it because you're going to get the benefits regardless if they are going to do it as well. So another thing with that plain little water, glass of water, you can, if you're not too crazy of lemon, or if you've been doing lemon for a while, and all of a sudden you're noticing maybe a little bit of indigestion or acid reflux, because that is something that happened with me as well. After a while, you can have too much of a good thing. So I wanted to switch it up. And the way I switched it up was instead of adding the water with lemon all the time, I had water with cucumber. I know that sounds gross to some people. Yuck, cucumbers. I don't even like them on my salad. Well, let me tell you. If you're going to put cucumber, easily thin sliced of cucumbers into your water, it's going to be a, an acquired taste at first. But once you start feeling the benefits, you're going to crave it. You're going to want more of it. I started slicing up cucumbers and lemons in big pictures and putting a these big pitchers of water in the refrigerator 
so they're nice and cool and chilled. And it wasn't just me drinking them anymore. It was the entire family because it's good. It's refreshing. And it's not just a drink of water. That combination with a cucumber, it helped with weight loss. It helped prevent the inflammation in my body that I was feeling from monthly issues. I know not all caregivers care to experience that or or care to hear about that. But it is something that I was amazed that once I started to add the cucumber to my water, how quickly my body repaired after a workout, how quickly I was able to go through the day as far as lifting and moving and cleaning and um, even helping with my mom and not feeling the effects that I normally would have in my lower back. I was having that water with the anti-inflammatory effects from the cucumber. It's awesome. It's also helping me, it was helping me clear whatever, if I had anything sugary or junky before, because, you know, there are those moments that, yes, I do stress out and I give in to that comfort food. And the one thing I need to do at that point is just flush my system down the water, the cucumber, stop the cravings, stop, you know, I had that momentary, uh, lapse of judgment and that water is almost like it helps me refresh, restart, cleanse, begin again, start all over. But the cucumber in the water, I learned, has vitamin K. And vitamin K is something that helps uh, form the proteins that we need in making our healthy bones and our tissues and to help our blood clot properly. That is something I didn't realize, and I thought, well, no wonder this is helping whenever I do those pitchers of water and cucumber during that certain time of the month. It's just, it helped, and it made a huge difference. So if you look at that and you say, my my loved one is not going to touch a glass of water with cucumber, she's going to look at that and just one thing altogether and say, yuck, no thank you. Okay, I get it. My mom did too. But then there's the alternative. You can get some ice trays and strawberries. Now, strawberries, this is awesome because strawberries, they're natural diuretics because of the fiber content they have in them. They have soluble and insoluble fiber. So you can take these strawberries and depending on where you're getting them, it doesn't matter if they're organic or not. The strawberries that I've been getting lately, the hydroponic seems like the new new and improved strawberry here, I can slice them thinly and get at least four to five good, thick, yet still thin slices. Put them in this ice tray and I can either add water to the ice cubes to freeze or I can turn around and put fresh squeezed lemon water in with this strawberry. And so not only does it make this really cool, convenient ice cube, It's a pretty thing to see. So I started to get these glasses of water for mom and I'd put, get these ice cubes put together. And the next day I'd have maybe three or four cubes. And again, for me, I was a little nerdy about it because I could portion control it. I knew how much flavor wise I could tell um, anyone that was helping me that day, get her a glass of water, put two cubes in it, get her a glass of water, put three cubes. And she would love it because it did spruce up the water just enough for her to drink. And two, she took the straw and it was like going fishing for strawberries. She would eat these strawberries and the strawberries, my goodness, it's no wonder God created so many things because if you follow a Bible diet, which is another thing, then you're going to get the benefits. And these strawberries No wonder. Strawberries help us stimulate the immune system. They have their own anti-inflammatory properties. It's no wonder so many things out there are made with strawberries to flavor them. They promote growth of good intestinal bacteria. And we need that good intestinal bacteria because that plays a vital role in our physical and mental health. Healthy gut, healthy heart, healthy brain. It's just that simple. Strawberries help us fight cholesterol. They help, and the cholesterol being the bad or the unhealthy LDL cholesterol. 
it helps it by preventing the plaque and build up in our arteries. It's just incredible of how simple this is. Adding a slice of strawberry to an ice cube, a couple of these cubes in a glass of water, and here you go. Maybe throw in an umbrella. I don't know. Dress it up a little bit. Make her think she's having a <laughs> a nice little beverage, an adult beverage. Strawberries help us to increase the amounts that we get from the berries, from other good foods. So they help us, because of that soluble and insoluble fiber content, it's going to help us get not only the nutrients from the strawberry itself, but those properties help us get the nutrients from other berries and other good foods we eat as well. And not surprisingly, strawberries also high in vitamin C and potassium and magnesium. And we need all of that stuff for our nervous system. So when you're doing this and you're trying to encourage them to drink water, part of that encouragement is seeing you do it. For our children, it's the same thing. When they see you do it, they learn from us indirectly, so they're more likely to do it because if mom and dad do it, then I can do it too. And hey, by the way, water with lemon tastes good. Water with strawberries tastes good. You can even get peaches, and I've tried this, and it's not bad. You can get peaches and slice them thinly just the same. Let them sit in a pitcher overnight. Let that water kind of ferment in it. It's naturally sweetened. You can't lose there because it has way less sugar than soda and juice. So the next time you're thinking, I have a headache, I'm tired, um, I haven't gone to the bathroom in a day or two. I mean, you go through these things and just wonder, why are my joints so stiff? I thought I was okay. I thought my I stretched before my workout or I stretched after and I slept good. And you go through that mental process of, your little checklist. Why is this happening? Stop and drink a glass of water. That's all I can say. Take care. Thank you for joining us today. We really hope you've enjoyed this episode. To learn more about proactive caregiving and to hear other episodes of this podcast, please visit www.jessicalizellcannon.com. This podcast is produced by Canon Light Media, LLC, www.canonlightmedia.com. Music provided by Chris Paradise. Mary redeemed a $50,000 cash prize playing Chumba Casino this year. I was only playing for fun, so winning this was a dream come true. Chumba Casino is America's number one social casino experience. It's serious fun. With over 80 casino-style games to choose from, you too could win life-changing amounts of cash. Be like Mary. Log on to ChumbaCasino.com and give them a whirl. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary, void, or prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. The voice in the preceding commercial was not the actual voice of a winner.